Hey folks, Rob with two guys on a ride. Today we're out at the New Ulm Auto Fest and beautiful, in beautiful New Ulm, Minnesota. And I have Jay and Vicky, and they have a really, really cool truck. But on the back of that, we'll get to in a few minutes, they have a camper as well. And we're gonna find out who they are, what the draw is to this vehicle and that camper, and just find out a little bit about them and why they decided on this and what the story is behind it. So Take it away, tell us about your truck, tell sure. us about what you've got here and this, what's going on. This is Amazing Grace. We purchased Amazing Grace when um, about five years ago when we were looking for an actual camper. Um, we decided that we wanted to go camping with our family who all owns these huge RVs and um, we decided that we would um, purchase a camper but we were looking and saw this truck and we, I fell we, in love. We don't buy anything normally. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Normally we, or yeah. normal? Normal. normal. Oh, we, normal. We, we have always had oddball classic cars. We picked up a Triumph in California, brought it home with us. Um, so we've got now three Spitfires because uh, they just keep multiplying. We've got a 62 Vespa that's completely restored. Um, we don't drive normal cars even on a day-to-day -day basis, but we thought she always wanted a truck. Um, so she found this truck and we went to check it out and it was absolutely as advertised. It was built right. Uh, we didn't have to do too much to the truck itself. Um, did make it our, t we, we put our touches on it interior wise, added sound system, added a bunch of other stuff. But um, yeah, it, it runs out great. Well, and you were telling me that she's the bigger car guy of the two of you. She, she tends <laughs> to am. be. Yeah. I am. Um, my, my dad worked for a Ford Motor Company and so he has always been into cars and he's, you know, kind of given us that love of vehicles. Um, I know that he's not happy that I decided to buy a Dodge. As you're, spe but, as you're speaking, I am uh, getting the Dodge logo yeah, here. I know, and uh, I know, uh, Sorry, Dad. But you, you, you turned out a car gal, I mean, or car I, guy, so that's kind of cool. Did, and yeah. it's own right. No, ab absolutely fell in love with the flared fenders, with the whole look of it. I mean, it's just a beautiful vehicle okay so who repainted um, it for you <laughs> you know mother this, nature did that very well 100 original paint you're not going to find original <laughs> paint on a, on a 47 dodge right and, and, and we kind of figured out the folks tires kind of give it its shine right, right? There you go. Well, now you were telling me you had a, an issue of trying to get it uh, insured with a, a national yeah. brand uh, we insurance did. company well, because they said it didn't shine. It's yes. not shiny. This is not a shiny vehicle. Did you not take a picture of your hubcaps and wheels? And well, yeah, we did. I did wave in there. <laughs> they could see me through it, but that was not good enough for them. Yeah. The, the um, best unless... part about these cars for car shows, it takes about five minutes to get it ready to go. Right. And Pull it out of the garage, hose off, little. shine the wheels, go. Yeah. Well, I, I got to think, I mean, I'm a big fan of uh, McGuire's and uh, Barry McGuire, uh, but I got to think he probably is not a big fan of you because you, I don't see any of his products being used on your Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, on the wheel? Tire shine. Oh, tire shine. Tire okay. Shine. Yeah. We do use tire shine. So, <laughs> well, so if he is in need morning, of, you know, <laughs> handing out some new tire shine, we would well, definitely. Well, well, yeah. having Larry works at 3M, so he keeps bringing home yeah. all the McGuire Since products. Since 3M so. bought yeah. McGuire's many years yep. ago. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's kind of so, cool. But now yeah. tell me then, what is it about this truck that really appealed to you that you had to break away from the family, probably got written out of the wheel, <laughs> uh, and bought a Dodge? Um, well, I, I fell in love with the fenders. Okay. I love the fact that it has that back rail on it. 
Okay. Um, it is all Mopar, so it's not just pieced together with different um, brands. So it's nice to keep, you know, all Dodge, not just, okay. you know, a little bit of everything. So your power plant um, is Mopar? Mopar. Okay, and what is it? It, what the size dive? engine oh, is that? We yeah. have a 318 in here. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, what I thought was really cool, you showed me just a few minutes ago, are is the interior. Yes. Because these seats are extremely luxurious. And if you'll tell us, <laughs> if you'll share with us, you let's take a shot of that and share with us. Oh, uh, funny. These, these, these seats are uh, direct out of a what? A Dodge Omni. A Dodge Omni. Okay, yes. but, but they didn't have enough of a lumbar support in them, so I took them apart. Well, now and you're I made compensating, sure, Vicky. I made sure <laughs> I made sure that they were a little more cushy. Where do you find that crushed velour anywhere else? <laughs> okay, and well, <laughs> now that you've invited me in, I've got to get a, a shot of that. Look at that. <laughs> Folks, I mean, it's really cool, but I mean, they are so dedicated that they wanted to keep it 100% Mopar. They wanted to make it a little more streetable, a little more comfortable. Um, so they, they went and they sourced the uh, uh, seats to go in it, and that's what it is. They're out of a Dodge Omni, but they work, and they're comfortable. Yes, they are very comfortable. And you were saying you can cruise this down the road at 60 mile an hour. And she she just, can. I do. I'm not his, allowed to. His she doesn't let you drive it. His legs are too long, okay. so okay. I fit better okay. than he does. I can okay. drive it around it town and put gas in it and make sure that it's working, <laughs> but you know, that's, that's as far as it goes. And you can fix this. It's easy to fix. It's not something that right. you need all of these um, no. electronic tools for. Sure. Well, you're so. saying that's an early 70s 318 in there, so yeah. they're rock solid yeah. motors that yeah. don't two have barrel, any not even a four barrel on it. Oh, just it's a, yeah. well, it's car, what, was it a Carter two barrel? Yeah, yeah. I'm not even yeah. sure what, what it was. I think it was Carter. Yes, yeah, Carter. Um, uh, so yeah, that's yeah, really just, just a two barrel. Simple. I mean, you can't get it's chrome, but you know, it, it's just a right. very simple motor. And there you go. Really easy to work on. Nothing fancy, but it matches the rest of the car right. because yep. of the patina on it. Yep. But it's reliable. Yep. We did have to buy a horn that goes over. Yeah, the yeah. Oh, you got to have a Uka horn. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I, I thought it was really cool that being this is a uh, 47, that it did, did come with um, air conditioning standard. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> I keep that open quite This often. was the 255 air conditioning, oh, get little... two windows down, 55 miles an hour, and then the little, uh, uh, little uh, you got a, uh, a handle. A handle. There. Yeah, that yes. just scoops right up, and there yep. you get your fresh air intake. Look at that. The, now, the windshield does crank out, too, but we had to seal that. Oh, it did already? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it yeah. Did. So it would crank out at the crank. bottom, so yep. you'd have had, yeah, what, two or three inches, maybe? Yeah, yeah. so we could get a little oh, more air in there. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Now and what I like, each windshield wiper has got its own motor. So that's what I was going to say yeah. earlier. Jay was showing that, and they're individual motor, individually operated, but they are electric. They're yes. not the manual little sit up there with your hand until it No, I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, but but <laughs> that, this, that's a driving hazard. <laughs> this does have dual. Where back in '47, I imagine some of them probably would, may have only come with the driver's side. I don't this, know that they would have came with them. Oh, they may not come at all. This, this right. probably was an aftermarket right. thing. <laughs> okay, well, as cool as a truck is. You got to show me what's behind it and tell us uh, why. This, and do you use this? <laughs> this is my 48 glamper. Yeah. Um, actually, um, it was pretty much done when we got it. But what I ended up doing was um, repurposing the inside. Um, we decorated. We put the fenders on it. Um, found all of the little extras that go with it. Can we walk um, around and take a look at the you back? You walk and around just... and yes, we sleep in this. It fits a six foot one man and, a, and his wife. Okay, now, uh, it, so <laughs> this would have been, uh, is this an original tin roof from an, from yes. an old barn? Yes, it's barn. And you were saying uh, warm time is not as happy, but rainy nights are rainy splendid. Rainy nights are great. We have a flat screen TV in here that we put videos in so that we um, can enjoy the rain and, and just some quiet time. So, and, and everything we got, we keep going on. I love to go thrifting and antiquing, so okay. I keep finding antique things that go along with it. I love this. I love it, it with a suitcase table. Yeah, isn't that yeah, great? That is awesome. <laughs> uh huh. That is so, so cool. And the whole deal out back, right? Yeah. So I turn on the cafe light. That means the kitchen's open. So when you go to a campground, I imagine you get quite a few looks and, and Jay you were saying you like to go off in the far corner and not be noticed or? <laughs> no 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 we try to pull in next to the biggest most expensive camper we can find <laughs> we try to park right next to it so you're beside a couple hundred thousand dollar <laughs> oh, giant Winnebago's yeah, yeah, that, that have a big you know, Cadillac Escalade behind them oh, yeah. and yeah. you're pulling it in a 47 Dodge truck and a teardrop and a yep. teardrop and, and, and they look at us like we're crazy and, and then, we get to know them really well because this does not have the you know um, the yeah, bathroom you, you facility, don't, you don't so hide we, we might. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, they actually will come in and um, 
look at ours because it's so different and unique from what they normally see and right. they really can't believe that we sleep in this yep. so yeah yeah, I've, I've got them at, even even on the highway, traveling, getting, going from place to place, you've got to get looks, people Always. pulling out their camera phone, yeah. lots oh, yeah. of uh, comments or thumbs lots up. Lots of thumbs or, up. Yeah. yeah. Even the Harley drivers, you know, how they, they, really? they do the this. Yeah. yeah. We get the this. <laughs> You're cool enough. You get the notice. Get the, hey, the Harley up. guys will actually That's wave right. to you. That's they cool. Do, yeah, all right. Know, all right. So. You've, got, you've got some respect going on there. Uh -huh. uh, so tell me this. I'm going to put you on the spot, both of you. What is your absolute most favorite thing about the truck and the camper, other than the fact that it's yours? So what is it that, 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 really, that really gives you the smile on your face when you go out in the morning and look at it and it's like, that's mine. But. No, it's, it's when you get up in the morning, when you get out of it and everybody else is making around the campgrounds and looks at you and going, you really, really did sleep did in sleep it. In it's like, yeah. <laughs> well, it is uh, so uh, comfortable And too. on that, you were saying lots of times you wake up to folks peeping in your window yeah. because they're not really they, sure. They thought maybe sure. you went off to the Holiday Inn. Oh yeah, yeah that's, that's what it is. <laughs> Uh -huh. yep. No, and it's very comfortable. I mean, we've got a six-inch little um, memory foam pad in okay. there, and okay. um, the the quilt that we got, I actually got it at a thrift store in um, Colorado. It's an antique. Oh, nice. um, almost everything that I have in there is an antique of okay. some sort, cool. so that it matches wow. the um, whole ambiance. And, um, and what's fun we're not about afraid it to use it. Is we, well, that's that's cool. That's it. Yeah. Because, now, when in using it, does it kind of? Feel, do you feel like you're kind of transported back to a different era? Kind yeah, of. yeah, but we haven't done the whole we're going to dress in 40s era. No, no, not even. Yet. Well, you don't even have to do that. But just okay. in the in the lack of facilities yeah. and in the whole mechanical uh, uh, part about it, that yeah. it, it's everything. It there's nothing electric the... except for your television. Yes. <laughs> everything, and you got some outlets in there. We, but we also bring a coffee maker and espresso maker when we're going to. So. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're, we're, so we we're, do we're, not. Totally we are not quite line. roughing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> <laughs> but you definitely I actually love the older fashioned vehicles because they were made perfect. They were made right. Right. Yeah, you know, today right. things break down so easily. They're made of plastic or fiberglass or whatever yep. else, and you can't just go and fix them. When yep. they crack, you've got to take that piece off and put a new piece on. Exactly. Um, when you ask the question about what I like about this, yeah. I love meeting people. There I'm a people person and I love coming to these things. I love to sit and chat with people. Yep. Um, today I was just chatting with someone, found out that they know my cousins, you know. So there you go. If, or just um, sitting and doing some chatting with someone and they tell you about another car show or, or something about teardrop campers, you know, it's it's kids. the whole community. Well, oh, and you get to know people over a common interest and it gets to know, the, and the kids too. Mm -hmm. And the cool gets part about that is because, uh, you know, we're older. And I like to see the young people getting involved yes. with cars and exactly. getting into the sport as well. I love to see women in the sport <laughs> as well. And it's cool to know you're such a car guy yeah. as well. Like I said, you're going to have to check out the Vespa. That's what I I will. We'll there. get some pictures of that let, and include let that let in the video. I drive today. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I got us to here. I have one more question. <laughs> yes. Amazing Grace. Yes. Tell I'll me. the sound. Fantastic. That is so cool. You know, guys, thank you so much for sharing your awesome truck and uh, and Teardrop Camper. <laughs> yes. It's amazing, and thank you for taking the time to record a video with us. We really do appreciate it. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.